It was Brahms' day of exploring Tasmania. He went Brahming to Blackman's Bay. When what do you think he saw? A mean red Panther de Ville car driving roughly on the wall. In it was a devil lady. Oh, whack! It's Coella de Ville. I could remember seeing her in Tasmania, nor in England. Bum me to startle. Seeing the car made him not feel safe, so just beyond the safe side, he decided to visit Clonarchus Tipyard. Just as he went into Blackman's Bay, who else did he see? Pat Pat with Pap. We were looking wary. Oh, Brom, that red car frightens us. We picked up a wanted poster telling us she was after my dog. Cruella asked me, but I said no and took off before she could throw a tantrum at me, said Pat Pat. Crumbs, I just saw her outside this suburb. We'll visit Glenock together, just to be on the safe side. It's an illegal plot. You can't get in in, said Brom. We were just about to leave Blackman's Bay when Pat barked. Koala's car was lurking at their side. Let's get out of her, cried Brom. Where? cried Pat Pat. Anywhere. Quickly, he shot out of the suburb. Koala seeing this, started to chase them. They came to the all about stopping for a minute as Pat Pat suggested Marcute. We can't take the long drive. She'll knock us off the wall, said he. We'll find a foot to tell the police to stop her. But we need to hide away in the tip shop, said Brum. Quickly, she's coming. He arrived in market, not stopping till we got to the tip yard. Pat Pat quickly threw the police out of who he got from a foreman when we got there. He was just in time to finish the mean red car keep lurking into the first gate, entering the destination. In the shed, said Brom. 
as had been planned, the head out of the doorway of the Mufford bum pit. The mean car was idling by the door. It didn't stop to the relief. It kept lurking the area. Corral was new to market. She'd never been in a tip yard for her. But she didn't care. She was looking in where I've been in the truth before her first visit. She looked in the green waste by the rubbish house and repeating the drive Hooper and Hooper. Mom and Papa waited anxiously to make a move. Just then, another car trooped into the yard. It was Herbert who was visiting to see what was cool. On. He didn't question, he saw Coella's car. Coella came to a stop in the green waste again, coming to get him bogged in a mad puddle. She tried driving forward, failed. She tried backing, failed. Frustrated, she got out of the car, wanting to find a foreman, but got grabbed by the boot bonnet from her boot, ambushing her. Bum and Pat Pat Pete seen the beetle meet his stalk. She was caught. The police arrived at the scene. What's been happening, Rich? He said. We just stopped this devil little officer. She was off the pub for an animal crook, said Pat Pat. Her car should be put in your station display, as it's not to be seen from everyone of gold, added Bram. That's what all the fuss is. Well, Miss, you never quit this deed. So We'll have to send you to prison court. So, you remain there till what big number Deku, apart from Falku, would come. Come quietly, said the officer. Once she was taken away, including the car, Brom Papad 
and her blood rested in the moon shed, thinking we should have a break. I heard what was happening, so I keep to grab that woman from my bonnet, said her boot. What a sad sight for us if Pat were skinned. It's not to be remembered from us, but part of wanting animal cook, said Pat Pat. And it's the first plus final time for me to see Coella's car. I didn't like the headlights, said Bram. I'm glad I can fight crime. Pat will have lunch after this occasion, said Pat Pat, just to get rid of the sheets. I have a race, said Cole. We might call it in the race, said Herbert. I might visit it the next day. Time I should head to my shed. Goodbye. And he left the tip on, tired from his crime stop job.